AA loggers, brews and reviews. Welcome back to PA Loggers Brews and Reviews. This is Homa. It's a beautiful Saturday night in Schnecksville. Nice weather. The katydids are clicking. I don't hear any cicadas, but I do hear crickets, buzz of crickets in the air, a little bit of a cool breeze, very subtle. I'm still in a t-shirt, but pretty soon it'll get really windy out here and I won't be able to have torches. You won't even be able to hear me anymore. But anyway, I'm sitting out here having a Slugger Pills. Now this is a summer type beer from Sly Fox. And I reviewed this on Untapped and gave it a four. And that was actually a year old version. That was actually one I got for half price from Link Beverages. And they were closing out on them and I wanted to try it out. It's an unfiltered Pilsner and it was very good. And then when they came out this spring, I got some fresh ones. I think I got them from Wegmans and they had some at Tanzos and Northampton. So they were around for a while. I haven't seen them for a while, but they also have them I think at Phillies games and they have a Pirates version that's black and yellow that they have at Pirates games, and I haven't tried that one yet. I mean, it's the same beer, but I wouldn't mind having that can. I still like still like collecting cans, just like I did when I was young. But anyway, this is a really nice Pilsner, really nice unfiltered Pilsner. I think people at Phillies games probably don't appreciate it, but this is an unfiltered Pils. It's 5.2 ABV. Let's pop it open and try it out. And I do have my Sly Fox glass here. Now, unfiltered means it'll pour a little bit cloudy, and that's okay. And I'll put this here so you can see the can in the Phillies colors. I'm not really a Phillies fan. I was a Pirates fan growing up back in the 70s and 80s, but don't watch a whole lot of baseball now. Played baseball, but don't watch a whole lot of baseball now. Anyway, the head on this kind of dissipated kind of quickly. And again, it is September, and this is a beer I picked up probably in the spring, probably around April or May or something like that. Nice aroma to it, very nice, nice kind of yeasty aroma, a little bit of maltiness in the aroma. Let's try it out. Has kind of a creamy mouthfeel, kind of, you know, nice bold taste. Feels solid, it doesn't feel thin or anything like that. A little bit of maltiness, a little bit of kind of crackery kind of taste to it. Uh, maybe very slight citrusy kind of hop on it. Very slight. Not, I wouldn't say it's hoppy, but you could taste the noble hops on it. It's a little more on the floral citrus side. Very good. Very tasty Pilsner. I would definitely give it a 4. I don't know if I'd go much higher than that. I could get a 4.25, but it's a solid Pilsner. I would get it every spring. If you have a chance to get it, get it. It has good staying power because I had it a year old and it was, it was perfect. I try to get the Sly Fox beer as fresh as I can, and I got this this spring. It's very good. So it's a good Pilsner, nice, tasty, unfiltered Pilsner to get in the springtime. And if I guess if you get to sports events, Phillies games, Pirates games, or whatever, pick this up. You're lucky to have this uh, compared to some of the other stuff that you might find at, a, at sports events, even though you probably pay a lot more, <laughs> I guess, at an event than, than what you can pick up as a four-pack. But Sly Fox, very good. I give it a four. Very good unfiltered Pilsner. Sly Fox makes great Pilsners, great lagers. It's a great brewery. They have a great tasting room in Pottstown. A big fan of Sly Fox. So good job again. Sly Fox, and I'm looking forward to some maybe winter beers, black lagers. We'll see what Sly Fox has for us in store for the winter. That's it for now for PA Lagers, Brews and Reviews. Hope you like the new intro that I put on there, and check me out on Instagram. I have an Instagram account, PA underscore Lagers, and I also have a Facebook page, PA Lagers, Brews and Reviews. Same name as this YouTube channel. Uh, pretty much the same content. I just want people to come to the YouTube channel. I'm not that worried about Facebook, but I'm just trying to, you know, get some exposure out there, learning about, you know, social media marketing, <laughs> learning all about that. So thanks for checking me out here. And again, I'd like to continue the conversation. So, you know, write some comments in, comment on Facebook, comment on my YouTube channel, comment on Instagram as I'm learning that. Uh, I, I'd like to talk to you about beers because I like talking to people about beers instead of just talking to myself. So have a good night. And thanks for stopping by and having a beer with me. And check out over 200 reviews at my untapped profile at RMHOMA. That's a nice pills.